Did you guys happen to see that Mr. Tyler Mannion himself did a wrap up of the Republic of Texas? Part one is out. I haven't checked in a little bit, so maybe they may have put out more parts since then, but part one is out. How many of you guys saw it? It's been shared all over social media. Type in and tell me if you saw it. Just watched it, right? Yep. What's up, Brandy? What's up, Amanda? Yeah, we are going to preview Atlanta, Vancouver, and Governor's Cup tonight. And uh, but before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about the fact that Tyler did just post a recap um, of Republic of Texas. So I thought it was very interesting because he said exactly <laughs> what I said last night, basically. <laughs> uh like verbatim yeah like verbatim <laughs> um you know one of the things that he mentioned at the beginning is something that i tell you guys all the time that if i'm not there in person and we're go just going through photos and things like that um that it you know everything take everything with a grain of salt because i'm not actually there and there's things that you can't see in photos that happen there live you know what i mean um, he definitely made that very clear. I definitely make that very clear every time that I do one of these li these lives with you guys. I'd say it all the time. If I'm there in person, that's different. I give you my my full honest opinion. You know, whenever I'm at a show in person, I get as close to the judges, the head judges' seats, I possibly can, so I can see what they are seeing. Um, but he's right in that regard. Uh, you cannot judge a show just on pictures. So there's a lot of times I'll say, you know, this this is what I see here in the photo, but I could be wrong. It could have been different in person, right? So there's that. Um, but in part one, he went into reviewing the wellness lineup, the top four from wellness from Republic of Texas, and essentially said exactly the same things that I said last night. <laughs> I just love being validated. <laughs> like, I was like, perfect. I was like, this is fantastic. And guys, I am so happy that he put that out there. And I'm hoping that they do more of this. Because all it does is it really helps you guys see that there is a method to the madness, right? There is actual structure behind the judging. Of course, it's subjective. And some people are going to see it a little bit differently than others. That's just to be expected. But it's not just one of these things that's just out in no man's land. There is a rhyme or reason to why they choose everything. Um, there is a re reason why people win and a reason why people don't, you know? So... I haven't seen anyone comment about the placements, maybe I overlooked posts about it in the other than this video. Um, <clears throat> I've seen other, I've seen other wrap-ups that um, that said different things. <laughs> we'll say that. <laughs> we'll say that much. <laughs> um, but yeah, literally to a T. His was more of like the Reader, Reader's Digest version. I went in a little bit deeper because I pulled up pictures, all those kinds of things and showed you guys. But he said exactly the same things I said. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, he gave really good critiques. Um, they were the exact same things that we talked about here. Yes, correct. Johnny Styles is one of them that does them. Yes. Um, so... You know, just saying. I want the judges to come out and talk about this stuff more often because, again, it just gives competitors a much clearer view of what they are seeing, right? It's not some big mystery. If you have an educated eye and you understand what's going on in the sport, it's very clear why some people win and other people don't. It's very, very clear. Right. I was nodding my head with everything he was saying, like, yep, Sean said that. Yep, Sean said that too. <laughs> oh, what can I say, you guys? I kind of know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for 13 years at this point. I've been around a little bit. You know, I tell people all the time, I have a history in the sport, not just as a competitor. I was a judge at one time. Don't do it anymore, but I was a judge at one time. You know, I've done this, I've been there, I've seen it all. Right. And I don't say that to brag. I say that because I'm a student of the sport. I pay attention. 
right? I pay attention to what's being rewarded. I pay attention to what they are doing on stage. If I am telling you something, yes, it's my opinion. Absolutely is. But it has been derived by education in the sport. I still go talk to judges at every show. I still go get feedback at every show. I don't just assume things, right? <laughs> Sean, you know it. I do. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> You're good at networking with people. Yep. Yep. You better put those arms away. <laughs> my my guns. My guns. I gotta. Yeah. I'm getting there. I I think so. I drove. I woke up this.